Flame Photometer In this experiment, you will learn what are the main components of the photometer, how to operate it and how to prepare the standards. Let us look at this technique. Alkali and alkaline earth metals can be thermally dissociated in a flame and that some of the atoms produced will be further disordered will be further excited to a higher energy level. When these atoms return to the ground state, they emit radiation which is mainly in the visible region of the spectrum. Flame photometry works by measuring the intensity of light emitted when the element is exposed to a flame. Each element emits light of a characteristic wavelength the intensity of which is directly proportional to its concentration. Now, let us look at the main components of the flame photometry. The substance that you are testing put through a nebulizer where they break up into atoms. The mixing chamber mixes the Revlon solution with sample and transport the solution into the flame at a steady rate to produce gaseous atoms and ions. These ions absorb the energy from the flame get excited to high energy levels from the ground state. But as these ions are unstable, they return back to ground state while returning they emit characteristic radiation, the intensity emitted light is proportional to the concentration of the element. The photo detector generates an electrical signal which is amplified and displayed on the digital readout. Now. Because conduct an experiment, the first step is to prepare calcium standards. We need also to prepare a sample here, our sample is tap water, finally, we run the standards and samples in the flame photometer and finally record and process data. The preparation plan of the standard is as the following prepare a series of calcium standards by adding appropriate amounts from the stock of 100 parts per million. After that, you can aspirate starting from the lowest concentration of your calcium standard. Wait for a few seconds to get a stable reading. Record it. And don't forget to aspirate blank between each standard. After finishing the standards, put tap water sample.
The result was like this. The end. Follow us on YouTube Chemistry Department UOP. Chemistry Department University of Petra. Done by Lab Supervisor Lee Nolley.